Hi there. Welcome back to the AI series, the artificial intelligence series. Today, we're talking about AI. Is it a bubble? Now, there has been some commentary around in 2025 saying that AI is a bubble because there's off balance sheet financing, a range of other things um, that suggest late stage boom financing or a bubble, basically late stage boom turning into a bubble. Now, the reality is that vendor financing is not new leasing, discounting, so on and so forth. That is not new. So I'm not concerned about NVIDIA's dealings with OpenAI, their commercial dealings, and neither should you, because those techniques that are being used are not new. They're as old as uh, Babylonian and finance 4,000 plus years ago. So that's of no concern. The reality is this is a large investment vehicle, the AI boom, and you've got SoftBank involved, Oracle, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Broadcom, OpenAI, and a whole group of consortiums putting money together to make it all work, um, including the American government. It's highly unlikely it's going to fail, and it certainly doesn't look like a bubble to me. Now, some people have tried to compare the AI trade, the stock market trade, so company valuations like $5 trillion for NVIDIA to the dot-com bust 25 years ago in 2000. And the reality is that most of those companies didn't have revenue, let alone earnings, 25 years ago. Whereas now you're talking about Microsoft, Oracle, even OpenAI, who do have very substantial revenues, and in most cases, profits. So the reality is it's not comparable. It's not comparable. It's apple and oranges, um, although apple is the old Anglo-Saxon word for fruit. The reality is that it's two different times and there's other reasons for thinking that we'll come to in later episodes as to why the AI boom will continue and would even push through bubbles. Now, the stock market may not keep up with it, okay? The stock market may have 5, 10, even 20% retracements in valuations because the valuations do look XC. That doesn't mean a bubble's burst or the boom stopped. Um, and as we've said in recent episodes, in recent written pieces, the reality is that uh, a lot of deals, commercial deals have been inked in 2025 and they will be rolled out in 2026 and 2027 and coming into 2030. So there's a lot of rubber to hit the road in future years that will keep the economy throttling along at quite a high level. So is it a bubble? Well, you may see some bubble-like characteristics in the stock market, but it will keep on going. It, the there will be no bubble that bursts and then you hear nothing for 10 years. The balloon will inflate and then it will deflate, then it will reflate, reinflate, and then it will move from there. It's not a bubble that bursts and the party's over. This boom is here to stay because it's got very substantial things underpinning it from the understandable human impulses for curiosity and the wish not to be embarrassed by having a lack of knowledge, right the way through to the business and corporate world with the profit motive and the desire to be on top of the business and being almost paranoid about losses and loss of equity. So it's got all of those human underpinnings to it, as well as the historical reality of the last 150 years that we will discuss in the next episode. And that in some ways is the most important thing for artificial intelligence. Look forward to uh, catching up in the next episode. Thanks. Mm -hmm.